Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to some more Unreal Engine 4. And I have completed the next phase. Well, not really a phase. I've actually added in the uh, the next AI character that I want to get going. Um, so let's resume this. So there we have him. We've now got two guys. We've got one guy who goes to his guard point, and then we've got another guy who patrols until he sees me and then I see you as well oh my god and then he runs to the guard and then he waits and then he resumes his path and he didn't see me that time because the angle changed I'm technically behind him so there he goes he's gonna go back over there and he'll turn around oh no he see me he still sees me thing is I've got a pause in his logic I'm gonna stop this now yeah I've got a pause in his uh, in his tree so I can see when he's actually physically doing something anyway so um, where are we so this is his tree nothing out of the ordinary to be quite honest uh, we come down this is our main sequence tree here this is what causes him to do his wandering motion since you know it's actually called Wanda. Uh, we start off by moving to next way, uh, next Wanda target. And when he gets there, he waits three seconds, and then this runs, which fetches the next waypoint target. Thusly, so we receive the execute command. We get a list of all potential waypoints. We take that list and we pass it to a random number generator and then we use that random number to pull out the uh, name of the actor we get the waypoint name from the actor reference and then we pass it out into the next waypoint value which ding we push that to next wonder target which is this guy here which is the blackboard value for our AI character. Cool, huh? All right, so that's that. Um, pile save, close. Now, <laughs> the next bit. So we already know about the blackboard basis, you know, if I've seen something react. So that's what the wait is for. He sees me, waits two seconds, checks. If he sees me, he sets the next wonder target now how's he doing that well first of all we get the event tick then we have to figure out who we are because these blueprints are valid for all characters of that same class so wonder you know wonder uh, god oh, sorry but <sighs> AI Wanderer 1, AI Wanderer 2, AI Wanderer 3, you know, all those different potential characters in the game can use this same blackboard event. So we have to figure out how we differentiate between them. And that's what this is doing here. We have finding out who the hell am I? So, you know, who the hell am I? Where the hell am I currently standing? Now we're also getting a list of all the other actors who fit into this category, AI guard character, which is going to be all the potential guards in the game. That produces me a list or an array of actors. So we do a loop. When we go through this loop, we get their current location, we take their location from my location as a vector, and we pass it into here, and we turn the vector uh, sorry, we get the vector length from this. And then we compare that length to this length. Now, right now, this is set to an arbitrary number because there's only one guard character in there. And I haven't done... Oh, you know what? I haven't done the set. I'd have to add in another one in here to set that distance to the last run through this loop. So next time it comes through, it can then compare, you know is this value different to the last time it ran is it higher or lower you know anyway 
if it's less than equal to this distance, it passes the uh, the uh, label for that element. Is it the element? Yeah, it passes the label for that element into closest actor and then pushes that value out just like we did with the other one it pushes that value out into the blackboard so we can find it in here and initially what I was doing was pushing it out and moving it into uh, this closest guard in our in our AI blackboard but I realized I don't actually need to do that I can actually push it straight into a wonder target and set the wonder target from his next waypoint to the closest guard so when it runs you know so when it runs this it changes this to the guard and then it can just run this and it's not a problem when he reaches there he waits three seconds and then the whole thing resets pretty nifty pretty nifty why oh it's because I changed the view that's why so yeah and that seems to be working pretty well so that's that's my second AI character basically taken care of now I can make him freeze and freak out like that oh my god I still see you I don't know what to do Bob come back Bob help me uh oh Bob's coming for me so <laughs> go away Bob I don't want to be uh, I, I don't know I still uh, it's the jump sequence is what he's doing. Anyway, so that's that. See, there he is. He's found Bob. I know he's going to wait three seconds and return to his predefined random path. <laughs> and that's that. So, uh, the next... The, what's the next AI I have to do? Oh, the chase. The next AI is the going to be the more aggressive one. Um, once he sees me, he's going to chase me down like forever <laughs> the idea being either he gets killed or I get killed that's going to be the outcome for that particular AI character next and then after that is the sleeper he's going to do nothing but idle until I perform an aggressive action against him or someone within his uh, predefined bounds so those those are the next two I need to do and uh, I've got to say this is actually kind of fun <laughs> in a weird kind of way again this is getting him to do this has taken me the best part of a day <laughs> but again you know I started into this knowing absolutely nothing and as you can see I'm, I'm starting to, to kind of get the hang of it um, initially I actually I was looking at um, instead of doing waypoints doing splines but setting up splines and getting a an AI character to follow it in this is a nightmare um, once you've got it set it's okay um, and you get much better fluid motion you know they don't they don't they follow the spline line so they are constantly rotating to the way or you know they're constantly orienting themselves to the path that they're on they're not just walking in a straight line turning straight line turning and it looks really nice and it's very fluid but it is really tricky to set up so for the moment nuts to that 